guys, this is Ruroni K95 here. It's time to do my first library vlog for this video. Yes, this is the first video of 2023 on my first library vlog video. So I'm just and basically I have must say is that couple it together for the new ones, so to speak. Yeah. Enjoy that, whatever this goes. Excuse me. In this edition on here, because I wanted to do something about where I'm going to be doing my library vlogs as well. And particularly of how I wanted to come by for this as well. What I'm saying about as well. Particularly of how I wanted to come I'm across before how I wanted to do this. Yeah. I have a couple bunch of the Incredible Hulk TV movie ones. Like I have are on DVD in my which was in my DVD collection, what I have as well. Which are the, the Incredible Hulk Returns, The Trial of the Incredible Hulk, and The Death of the Incredible Hulk, which are the last three remaining Incredible Hulk TV movies that I got on plan for as well. For just to be ever thought of, uh, to do a little thing of that. Well, The Death of the Incredible Hulk was the last of the 80s Incredible Hulk TV movie saga as well. Well, particularly as how I got it in my DVD collection. Oh, excuse me. I might do a reviews on those at this point. Yeah. After I can rewatch those movies as well, because... There's a good way to. There's a good reason to review those ones as well. Yeah, because why not? That's how I have got them planned for what I have. Is what I got in mind as well. Because this is the thing, though. Yeah, particularly of how I wanted to come across for this particularly is how I would realize to learn over the fact of this as well because I wanted to how I learn get over the fact of this as well accordingly as well as far what I understand as well Very reasonable with that as well. As far as I know, as well. And I ha what I have ordered something for the first time because there is something what I got them planned for my upcoming videos on my. Um, probably my DVD and Blue update and the unboxing video that I've recently done in the past as well. At this point, though, is that because remember looking back last year when I ha have done here on the physical media video library series is that I have wanted to realize of how I've been got two DVDs that I got. The two I got are from the libraries. One is a Region 1 DVD, particularly Boot Hill, that I got from Amazon in the U.S., and Rocky Joe anime DVD, which is also known as Ashida no Joe. Well, because it's basically the Italian title for the anime Rocky Joe, which is right there in my DVD collection, where I have it. Because I think I got it as my first 
um, Italian import as well, because it's basically, it's not even released here in the U.S., because it's one of those DVs I have to call, you have to call those, like, one of those that have been released exclusively in Italy. That's the reason of hell. Because it's in Region 2, and it's in PAL format. Good thing I had to go through customs as soon as I ordered it as well, because because somebody has gotten a hold of this DVD one after they bought it in Italy and sold it through Rare Waves Import in the UK on via Amazon online for the imports, and then I bought it online, and guess what? I have finally got it in the U.S. for the first time because. I have ordered my first DV from Europe as well, particularly because that's a good sign of how I had to go through customs from what I'm saying uh, of whereabout as well, of some sorts as well. According to what I learned over the fact for this, particularly, like, accordingly, as how I can come across for that as well. And it seems to be known for that as well, particularly how I wanted to come across for how I wanted to realize of how this is how it got to the point out of how I wanted to come and to figure out a way of this as well, because I have been buying 80s anime wise, you know, like. For example, like I have a couple of some 1981 DVDs of anime on there, like um, the complete series of Dog Tanyan and the Three Musket Hounds, Region 1 DVD from Oasis Films on DVD. It's right in my anime collection. As well as my Ulysses 31, The Mysteries of Time DVD. I think it's right there in my anime collection, in between UFO Ultraman and Valkyrie, and my the original Yurisei Yatsura anime TV series on DVD which is right in my anime collection, especially this shit set elf here on that one as well. But from what I learned, particularly, there's some Region 2 PAL format DVDs. There's like a... There's ones in 80s cartoons on DVD. There's like a bunch of old 80s cartoons from the 80s on DVD, especially the ones that I don't have that I wanted to get, like... I believe it was ones that I don't even have that I wanted to get as well, particularly. And that is particularly one I wanted to get, which is um, the Raccoons, which is a uh, 1985 cartoon. And it's a uh, Canadian cartoon that I wanted to check out, that I remember watching all the entire series all full entire series on YouTube back in 2022. Because I wanted to watch something, which is something after Dog Tan, not just watching, or aside from watching Dog Tanyan and Ulysses 31, but there is this, because I wanted to check out this um, Canadian cartoon that I wanted to check out, and that is the raccoons for the very first time, particularly. Yeah, because they're only released in Region 2 on these two season sets that are fully completed. However, there were versions of those, like, I believe in Region 1, but some of them's missing some episodes, which is kind of sticky. However, the Region 2 sets are fully complete, though. However, there were Region 1 DVD sets, but... It's long gone out of print, though, collector's items, so I might as well pick up the Region 2 ones I like. Because there's some more episodes on there as well. And not only, not only that, because I finally ordered the first season of The Raccoons on DVD, because I'm figuring it might have an ad for, a paper, a paper ad for, for the DVD release of... Mysterious Cities of Gold that I wanted to check out. Another Japanese anime from Studio Piero. I recently worked on Yu Yu Hakusho and 
Fushigi Yugi, etc. Yeah. Oh, and Kimiguri Orange Road as well. So, for the whole thing of how I wanted to come by for this as well is that I have wanted to realize, particularly because looking back of how I where I did my physical media video library series where I showcasing some 1985 under cat categories for movies and some anime on there. Why not some cartoons that I don't have? The ones that I wanted to get. Because there's like a bunch of them in Region 2. Because I wanted to get like the raccoons on DVD. Because cause I think that's the old 1985 Canadian animated series created by Kevin Gillis as well. Because I'm thinking... Apparently it's in English. It's Region 2. It's United Kingdom import by the way, is my next goal is to get some import those DVDs, and that's particularly the prolific 80s cartoons, so I can have that in there. the new ones confirmed for the 2024 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series as well, in case you're wondering of how I wanted to come across for this as well. Yeah. So... Yeah, this has gotten to my case as well. Okay, it was either before that I do that, or we'll figure it out as well, because I'm going to be doing some more videos under my 2023 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series, is that this particularly how I want to come for to how I can come across for how I want to make these kinds of videos for any DVD or Blu-ray collector as well particularly of why apparently though I have been doing a couple of my videos like my raw and cut videos especially on this tablet as well and you cannot be doing a fifth video on this tablet because there's the problem about the low storage space on there on your phone as well. So it only limits about four videos in all. However, I could cover more videos onto this tablet as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. You cannot put that on top of the tablet because otherwise it'll scratch the screen. That's the problem. So I'll just keep it inside there as well, which I usually do as well. In uh, case you're wondering why as well. Yeah, because I got my new editions uh, on here. In case you're wondering as well. Once I do like these, like, I believe it was the 2023 editions on here. Because I have my biggest leaps and bounds of m movie genres on there that I needed on the DVD as well, accordingly as from what I understand why. Just to give you a little heads up for that, it's from what I'm saying about as well. But not only that, there's a lot of things as well, particularly accordingly as how I wanted to come by for this. And also, looking back particularly, where I did my video on the 2009 movies, TV series, an anime category on the, the 2022 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series, I'm wondering particularly if I have the DVD of Miss, uh, Huntick Secrets and Seekers. Let me check if I have that. Let me see. Nope, I don't have that anymore. Because it's taken up, you know, lack of shelf space. That's the problem. And no, I don't have a complete collection set of that. Because it's, um, 
uh, actually particularly in an individual volume which I think I got rid of at the to the library because I thought this was a supposed to be like a complete collection set on DVD but unfortunately it was one of those individual volumes on DVD as well particularly of how I wanted to come by for that is the reasonable thing of that from what I'm saying about my whereabout as well and for some of the reason is that I would like to figure out the facts of how I wanted to come for the f most part of the reason is that well you get the picture as what I you know what I mean as well particularly so as from what I understand, particularly, because I'm start getting into the feel of how I'm, wanted to realize is that I think it's about the time that I start getting to becoming the first person who wanted to buy Region Two PAL format DVDs, because there's some Italian DVD releases, but there's also United Kingdom DVD releases also as well from the. UK as well, especially some, many of Soviet's UK imports as well, because they, despite they will not let you play on your PS4 because of the region code changing on here, but I just prefer to play it on my portable DVD player as well, in the same way of how you're playing a, especially if you're buying a DVD from another country as well, accordingly as well. And I have to admit, that's the th real thing about this of all sorts as well. From what I'm saying, aware about. Yeah. And on top of that, that's the thing of that as well. Because I wanted to come for the fact of this as well. And of how I wanted to come by of what I wanted to learn for this as well. Yeah, most DVDs were out of print and they're going to be collector's items as well. Of course, that's my little game of how I wanted to come across for that as well. And and then you have the, the reason of that as well. So, yeah. Yeah. Because I wanted to realize over the fact of how I wanted to start getting into the whole Blu-ray kind of thing as well. To just to figure out of how I wanted to do this, and I wouldn't take the risks on how I wanted to put on a movie or an anime on the. VCR because I just prefer to keep my tapes as unplayed as for now because I have the right thing to do because despite my DVD VCR combo player died um, this is the problem of how you know many of Soviet tapes can get damaged you cannot be fast forwarding a VHS on a DVD VCR combo player because it would damage the tape. That's the problem, though. So I'll just prefer to keep it unplayed for good. Unplayed as well. And yeah, that's the thing as well. Because I have every right to do is upgrade movies to Blu-rays now because I have a feeling Blu-rays have good, better qualities than the VHS tapes have as well. So that's why I buy them, that's why. So, I'll 
I'm going to be going to the library, and I will see Because I'll see you there when I'm at the library. Okay, so I'm at this library right here. I just found only one manga I bought for a dollar. And a movie on DVD for a dollar. The manga was like this one here. And same with the movie right here. For whatever reason is that I wanted to do this particularly why. If you ask me though. This is where the, I bought my DVD of Spaceballs. I'll tell you more about it when I come out. So I'm just going to do quick little parts in this video, basically, because I'll tell you more about it. Because, as you see, I'm right at this library. <laughs> what you what is noticing? There's a playground, and there's a school right there, and there's the mountains. <laughs> what a glory thing of how I'm walking to this library as well. I'm just going to take a look at the creek as well. I'll tell you more about it when I get back. Okay, so I'm at this park, creek park area here. This is where all the nature is and all that. I know it's cloudy though, for some for some other reason is that there's a creek right here and there's a pond is all, if you're asking me. There's the mountains you can see there. I'm gonna tell you all more about it when I come back home. So I just finally got back home from the library I just saw the creek, and there's the pond, and there's the bridge, particularly, because I just want to discover, see, wow, I haven't saw nature, or whatever reason is that, well, and also, this is my first borrowing manga from the library vlog video of 2023, I just also got three mangas I borrowed that I checked out from the library, first being is the Penguin Drawer manga, which is another volume that I just wanted to read that I borrowed which is volume 4 particularly as well as volume 7 of Mop Psycho 100 in case you're wondering is this one as well and the last one I borrowed from the library was Dragon Ball that time I got reincarnated as Yamcha I might as well read these on there until I can write down on my list of these manga books that I don't have that I wanted to buy from the from Amazon online or on right stuff at this point as well and also for the thing for that as well because I have particularly wanted everything as how I've ever got as well and also not only that I just found a DVD of Spaceballs as well particularly so stay tuned for my upcoming DVD update and another unboxing as well once I get my package that I ordered from Amazon online which is uh, season one of the raccoons cartoon DVD it's it's region to UK import by the way I'm pretty sure it'll be coming on Thursday on the 12th uh, which is coming this week as well so I can have another edition from what I'm saying about as well. Yeah. That's the thing of how I wanted to come by for all all that means as well of some sorts. And yeah, because that's the thing of how I wanted to do this as well. Accordingly as well. From what I understand why, from how, and then afterwards particularly, I have wanted to do more reading vlogs as well especially because I got more of those planned for March and fe well let me rephrase it uh, February and March because those are the two new ones that I got them planned for my upcoming manga reading logs which I do them every month as well not every day and all but just every month as well just in case if I'm low on the ideas and as well and then afterwards as well well, it was a good time seeing where I saw nature as well as I looked at the creek parks I was been, and even particularly on a cloudy day as well, particularly. It's always have to have some going out for a walk by the creek park, especially on a cloudy day as well, particularly of whatever I'm going to do this as well. Just to be ever anonymous though as well. So that's going to be it for my library vlog on where I borrow three new mangas that I 
borrowed from the library for today's vlog, for the fir which is the first video of 2023, you guys. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's what I'm going to say for this one. Ever since I have been doing so many of my library vlog videos since 2022 in the past, I believe it was January, this is the first library vlog where I borrowed new manga books from the library. Just only three. I don't particularly borrow a lot from the library, but I just only picked only three of those as well until I can buy some online. It's, there's also manga that I just bought for like at a, that were donated to the library book sale ones. Same goes with these former library copies of manga because I just take off those bindings off of them so I think that makes a better way to have that in your anime uh, manga collection particularly because same goes except for the ones that were donated to the library I just buy those manga books as well because it turns out that I'm basically more of a manga collector because I have been collecting a lot of manga a lot more than I had with collecting light novels despite I haven't been buying any light novels since the last one, which was The Surprise of Haruhi Suzumiya, which was my last light novel I have ever bought. That's why. That's the thing for how to come by for this as well. Hope to subscribe for content. My anime planet link, the Patreon will be in the description down below. Let me know your thoughts in the comments in the comments section below on this video if you like as well. Smack the like button if you enjoyed the video. Click on the subscribe button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're... Feel free to check out my channel, Rony K95, especially if you're new to my channel, because I'm starting getting into the Blu-rays and DVD as well. Because I'm started becoming a DVD and Blu-ray collector, that's why. Pretty soon in the nearest future, I'm also going to be start getting into the 4K Ultra HDs also as well in the nearest future that I got them planned for as well. And also. Be sure to smack the notifications bell button. Be sure to get notified also as well for more latest updates. If you haven't checked them, missed out on those as well. Just to keep you notified as well. And that's all I have what I got for today's vlog. This is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video. And I'm glad you liked it. I hope you enjoy this vlog. Especially if you're watching the channel. Because I'm starting doing some vlog videos. That's why. I hope to see you soon for the next video. I hope you have a great Saturday. This is Ruroni K95 signing off. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you soon for more videos. Take care.